Hello, here we are with week number two. Well, it says day two, but it's actually week two. Uh, it's August the 12th, it should be, if I schedule this to for the right, the correct day. This is the Flamingo Fridays um, 2022 that Cara Brandon and dear Julie Julie uh, have a collaboration and um, there are a number of flamingos who are participating and making things with the digitals provided by Cara and Julie, dear Julie Julie. Um, this week the digital, this is Cara's, are bright, uh, pretty fussy cuts and tags and dear Julie Julie her she has given us um, some vintage pieces of um, parrots and flamingos um, I guess this is a calling card a business card of some sort um, and this is a, a an award um, by a, to a student from a teacher um, anyway I'm sure it was much bigger than that originally as all of these probably were but um, anyway we're supposed to take these two digitals and merge them together into one project so this is what I have started and um, I hope you can see that um, I only have three tags started here. This one is a very small tag, and I don't think that I'm going to do much to this. I might eventually add some words to it. I will ink around this and put punch a hole in it, put an eyelet in it, and add ribbon to it. These, these are not finished. I have them sort of stacked here. Um, I did sew around this one. This one's Kara's, and I love the. It's very light, and you there's dots on it. But once I add this flamingo piece to it, it covers up the dots pretty much. But um, I added some lace to the edge. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put this trim here. I thought that went well with it. And then I'm going to put this piece. No, I think I'm doing it the other way around. <laughs> this one first, then this one over top, so you can sort of see that. I thought I liked that. I will punch holes, a hole in this one, add ribbon. Um, but I think I want something up here. I'm not sure what yet. This one I have stitched around the this part and added this lace. I stitched that on. This is glued on and overhangs. Um, I might leave it as an overhang. Um, it's a little um, vulnerable to being a bent, but I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that. Um, and I did, as I said, I did stitch on that one. I did not stitch this one because it's, I mounted it on um, some chipboard. Um, it was recycled chipboard. Um, and I'm going to probably put that on there. I found I had this seashell trim. And I think I'm going to put that over here. I glue it in there. Not sure. I think I'll do that. And um, put a hole in here. I don't think I'm going to bother to put a hole in here at all because I am going to. I'm going to glue that down. I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, 
Anyway, as you know, I'm kind of new to videotaping, and um, but if you'd like to stick around and watch me work on these, you're welcome to do that. I would appreciate if you would like and maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, the collaboration links will be listed in the description box underneath this video. And uh, if you'd like to participate, you'll find out find the information there. You can, I think, jump in anytime you'd like. And uh, there are free digitals that um, are available for you to use to make some of these uh, really cute tags. And uh, they both have Etsy stores and their kits are available in the stores. Those links will be in the description as well. glue this down and I'm going to use tacky glue for this. Good strong glue and it dries really quickly. And I'm going to let this overhang on the top. going to put some of this on top of that. I'm just going to draw a line of glue right up this line in the in the uh, ribbon that I put down. And I will overextend that as well. one of these at the Dollar Tree. I guess we should call it the Dollar Twenty Five Tree. They've gone up and so many of their things. Um, but they still call it the Dollar Tree. Um I'll have to smooth that down. Trim that piece. I think maybe I'm just going to glue um, the top, the side where the ribbon is, and the bottom. I'm going to leave this part unglued so that you actually could use it as a tuck, a pocket, a tuck. part that I did not want to. I'll just wipe that off. And of course the back of the tag, I've left that white 
and you can see the stitching that's okay um, I'm going to probably add a little bit of uh, I'll do that now put my lid on my glue um, I'm going to add um, some ink around the edges of the tag and I'm using actually two two uh, inks um, one is the worn lipstick sure that many of you have seen some of the others I, uh, I have lots of ink daubers but I like to have one for every color someone suggested putting um, some embroidery floss on your dauber so that you remember what color so this is kind of a generic pink to let me know that I want to keep it in the pink family uh, it is an old wooden spool, but it was broken, and so I figured, well, the, the the sponge pads fit right on the top of that, so I put that together to use for the pink. And then I have uh, some of these little finger dauber things that I like uh, to use. Someone. Someone was using them on one of the um, videos and I liked it so I ordered some for myself and I'm going to use that too. Helps you to keep a little bit more of a control on where you want to go in some ways. Um, you can daub in smaller spots. I suppose you could say that. Oh, you can see me. I don't know if I'm in camera range here. <laughs> with that. Oh, I'd like something on the top here and um, as we go through the weeks there will be more and more pieces to the kit that um, we can use uh, for the projects. I didn't want to prematurely uh, take things from the kits that are coming up. I figured I can always go back and add to it. Um, this piece of lace has a little crink there and if that bothers me, <laughs> what I can do is just take a little squirt of water and press that down and that should flatten it out although I think there was some ink on my fingers and maybe I might make that a, it won't be white now let me see I can clean that up too because <laughs> so if I would have wa washed, wiped my fingers first that would ha not have happened so I'm just dabbing it with a little bit of water if it doesn't come up, I guess I can take the, um, the ink and kind of age the rest of the, the lace that's on there. And I'll let that dry. Um, this, I think, needs a little more glue here. Now, I'm not sure, like I said, I don't know what I want to put at the top there. Uh, there were some labels. Um, I do have some extra things here because my printer doesn't like certain paper that I use. And so it often will um, misprint or it won't take a heavier paper. 
so I end up having to print it out on a nice quality copy paper and then gluing it to a cardstock or whatever I want. And um, this is a one that has not been mounted onto cardstock. I don't think I like that, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to put the punch a hole in there. We will put a brad in there. Uh, not a brad, a uh, pilot. And sometimes I don't, I can't decide what color I want to use for these uh, projects. I like that too. I had a lot of trouble with having the um, eyelets set for me, um, and uh, so I purchased uh, a set that have the serrated bottoms. I don't know if you could see that, but it's, whoops, I don't know how I can... I don't know if you could see that, but there's a edge on the bottom of that. There is a serrated edge, and when you use the um, crop dial, I can't hold it right. I don't know if you can see it. Um, when you use the crop dial, it the serrated edges work better for me. Um, I had terrible time with the ones that do not have that edge. And I have this ribbon, which I thought was nice. This is actually um, was used for knitting. I forget what they were called. They were like a ruffly scarf. And uh, anyway, I, I like the colors uh, to go with this. So I can get that through. And I think I still will add something there. I'm not really sure what. Um, maybe I would even add more of the uh, the trim in there, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I like that. Um, I don't know. Um, this is the, the thing I sometimes I don't really have a plan I just start doing and work out the details as I go
sure if I would have put a bow in here. I think that one's that one's fine. I like it. And okay, this is probably too small. Let's see. We have one of the it's a journaling card the parrot on it and we could stick it in there I think I probably would put maybe a tab or something on there ink this be put on to one of the journal pages as it is. Oh what that's dry. Now we have this one. Okay. Add some more ink to this one. it and then decided to mount it onto the chipboard so uh, it needed a little bit of ink touch up I think around the edges to cover that chipboard not that you would see it all that much but wait, I think I'm going to I don't know if I want to put punch a hole in that into a smaller hole. And I'm not going to put a brad in there though because that would make it bulky. I have a hard time seeing these sometimes. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> and then I'll punch the a larger hole in this.
and you can get a little brad on that. And then I think I'm going to go with a lighter color this time. And for this one, I think what I'm going to do is put some of this in there. to glue that on. I'm just going to use um, glitter glue, art glitter glue for that. Unclog the hole. Ah, I forgot all about the seashell, so I'm going to pull that up quickly. I'd have to add more glue to it, but I want to put these seashells on here. again. I'm not sure what ribbon I want to put at the top of that. Um, maybe some of the same that I've been using. Um. No, I don't think I like that. Mm.
an attempt to make a tiny bow may not work, may not be successful. <laughs> Should have left it a little longer to achieve that. But what I could do is make the bow and then glue it on there. I don't know if I'm going to like that color combination. Let me see. I want to cut some of that off. My fingers are not working, so should we try it this way? Probably thinking it's painful to watch me do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's taking me. I do not have that correct. <laughs> I'm going to just leave it like that, and I will glue that so it doesn't go anywhere. 